How's it going shoppers? Uh, in this video we're going to see how fast we can get to level 1 through 50 using ordinary means. We're not going to be relying on friends, legendary weapons, or anything of the sort, so let's jump in. Oh boy shoppers, it's time to customize! Nah, I'm just kidding, let's get out of this vault already. <laughs> Alright shoppers, now that we're out of the vault, I'll just go over what we'll be using real quick. We're going to start off with a level 5 10 millimeter auto pistol. Uh, these are pretty common to make um, using a suppressor in mine with a uh, red sight skype because it's just easy. Um, aim at their heads, pew pew and vats, and yep, and that's all you really need choppers. It's that easy. It's best utilized in stealth, but it's not really required at these low levels because everything dies really fast. Then I got one at level 25, one at 15, and then lastly we're going to be switching to the minigun, which is going to be level 35, and that's going to be our end game weapon. You don't really need any uh, armor, and these are the buffs I'm using. Brain Bombs, Cranberry Relish, Pumpkin Pie, I just picked these up, you don't really need them. And uh, yep, that's pretty much it. I'll also be using lunch boxes for this because it's easy. These are going to be the uh, serums I'm using, Bird Bones, got some Bear Mentats, Egghead, Herbivore, Marsupial. And they just make it a little easy, but they aren't required by any means. They're just more like slice of life type things. So yep, let's get in. Alright, quick update choppers. I added a pipe auto pistol to my build. It's a level 1 because getting 1 through 5 can be a bit tricky with just the base ones. And the other thing, uh, here are the lunch boxes. Once again, you can buy them from the Atomic Shop, Gold Bullion, get them from friends. They're pretty common nowadays. A lot of people have tons of them. Each one of these gives you 25% and it stacks up to 4 times for double experience. So they're really, really awesome to have. So, yep. And just a quick tip for all you shoppers out there, if you don't want to lose your mutations and you want to get some of the rid of rads, use the Nuka-Cola Grape. I can find them here in the resort. Just go up the stairs, you'll see the sign, it says Soda Right. Keep heading on down, simple simple. And then it should be to your left, and this is going to be a vendor that sells all types of Nuka-Cola, including Nuka-Cola Grape. Uh, it's a little expensive, but hey. Alrighty shoppers, we just cleared the White Springs for the first time. We're almost level 7. Uh, the perks I picked up are Concentrated Fire and Action Boy, and this just helps us in VATS and our AP recovery a little bit. Uh, but I will just go show you guys real quick about what I'm doing. So essentially we're just going to go into White Springs. We're going to be utilizing Stealth. And we're just going to be using VATS to lock onto their heads. You can just disarm the can so you don't set them off, or you can just walk by them. Forgot the explosive on my left, whoopsies. And yep, here's our goal. They'll always be down to your level. Just a quick update for you shoppers. Uh, eventually you'll encounter the ghouls being a higher level, rather someone higher than you uh, spawned in. But it doesn't really matter because ghouls are extremely weak and the higher the level enemy, the more XP you got. So if you encounter this, I wouldn't be too intimidated. The most scary thing about them is their rads and can always get Nuka-Cola great. And if you have such a hard time with rads, we can always just move on to our next portion of the video. But as you can see, this is pretty easy. How is it going, shoppers? We are currently in West Tech. The good thing about West Tech, it is instance, and it will always scale to your level. We are still level 10, and I'll just basically be going over what you're going to expect when it comes against super mutants. They do hit a little harder, so stealth is going to be your friend, so you're just going to see me here. Sneaking up unexpectedly on these things, aiming at the head and vats, and pew 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 pew, and just like that, get some solid experience. How's it going, shoppers? Once you're at the end of uh, West Tech, you're gonna head over to this elevator marked FEV Production, and then we're just gonna head on down to kill the remainder of the super mutants. Once we kill these super mutants, we're just gonna exit the server and just find a new one, and we're just gonna continue server hopping. Uh, expect about three to four levels per clear, so it's it's honestly pretty fast, and I'll update ya. Just a quick update, choppers. I reached level 20, and I'm switching to a fixer just because it gets the job done a lot faster. More damage, more range, uh, less problems. So we're just going to do that, and just going to my perks real quick, I just picked up some commando, country to fire, you can grab sneak if you want, first aid, less impacts, and action boy. That's all you honestly need. Already, I will see you guys shortly. We are now level 25 shoppers, uh, just to show you real quick. And I'll just go over a little bit of gameplay with this fixer to see what you about to expect. So you could rather use vats, who you can hard aim, and I'll show you both shortly. So we're just aiming for the head, we make quick work with them. 
Uh, see this one? We can just shoot it down. It doesn't really matter. You don't even have to use the 10mm or the fixer. Use whatever weapons you're comfortable with as long as you can kill them safely. Alright, I will see you guys shortly. Alrighty, shoppers. We are now level 35. So this is going to be the turning point of our little thing. And we're going to be switching into a power armor and using a bash minigun instead. Uh, this is really easy to attain. Uh, you can have a friend make it or you can just make it yourself. The materials aren't that roughly. Uh, the only special things I'm using is a motion assisted torso just because it gives you that extra strength. And just to show you we're using a tactical minigun with a shredder mod. So when you have zero ammo it acts as a melee weapon so you can shred them. Talk about super duper am I right choppers? Anyway for our perk cards I'm showing you the only things you really need is the, the basher perk. Uh, other than that, nothing's really too important. Um, I got starch genes, so I don't lose stuff. But 15 strength for the most damage, 15 endurance for the most health, and uh, you could just change it as you go. So pretty easy, right shoppers? Just a quick tutorial for you shoppers, because a lot of people don't know how a bash minigun works. So basically you want zero ammo in your clip with a shredder minigun, or minigun equipped. And then we're just going to walk into an enemy and hold the primary fire. If you use third person, you're less likely to get staggered and you're also able to uh, jump while charging your thing. And as you can see, uh, we're making quick work with these super mutants. Our health is pretty, or staying pretty stagnant for the most part. We can just pop a stim pack whenever we get low. But essentially, we're just going to be walking into the enemies like this and just killing them really easy. So once you get level 35, uh, leveling becomes honestly a ballpark and you can do it mindlessly while watching your favorite series on Netflix or watching super duper videos from your super duper guy. But uh, as you can see, we're making quick work of these super mutants experience, 249 each. You'll see that this turret does surprisingly large amounts of damage. I'm just going to spam a couple stim packs there and, and just like that. So for the bashment again, just to recap. Zero ammo, shredder mod on your minigun, walk into enemy. The damage scales based off the bash damage, which is scales off strength. So the more strength you have, the more damage that you will do. Alright, choppers, after lab 20 minutes, we're on the home stretch. We are now level 46. So far, it's taken about, I don't know, two and a half hours, but I've been goofing around a lot, let's be honest here. So I really haven't been tryharding this challenge too seriously, but expect to get this done in three hours. The perks that you want are going to be Basher, Suppressor, Stabilize, Dodgy, and Ricochet. Uh, just a bunch of damage mitigation, some damage boost, so nothing too fancy there. So I'm just going to show you a full run through of what I've been doing to level up after level 35 with the power armor. Uh, it's pretty effortless, not really taking much of any damage and nothing a quick stip pack can't heal. And we're just running into the enemy. We could be doing a lot more damage if we cured our mutations, but honestly, I'm just too lazy to go about that. So we're just rocking this with only 6 strength. And uh, as you see, we're just using the Shredder, level 35. It hasn't really taken any durability loss at all. Honestly, this build is pretty OP for the most part. Uh, but yeah, let's head on into West Tech here. Uh, we don't have to worry about stealthing, we just walk in, no problems. We're really tanky with our 15 endurance, a bunch of damage with our strength. And as you see, I only have six strength. Like, <laughs> that's, we're doing this much damage with six strength. You can imagine with like 36 strength, you could take down a whole Scorch Beast Queen or something like that. Uh, anyway, shoppers, as you can see, we're just making quick work of this whole West Tech. I just sped it up just because, honestly, I didn't want you guys getting too bored. But I'm just showing you guys uh, generally the route that I like to take that I find the most efficient. And it's the route that I've been doing this entire time. And I'm just doing my best job to make sure I miss anything. Uh, the berry mentats are quite a huge bonus because uh, as you can see they highlight the enemy and uh, the aurora. It also gives you a rough description of how long you've been in here because they last about five minutes. Um, but yep, as you can see I'm still making quick work of it. We're about halfway done with West Tech. We just leveled up again to 48. So that's already two levels that we got in here so it's pretty insane. You can also use this leveling up method after level 50 and honestly I think it's about 30... 20 to 30 levels per hour if you're just doing it casually with your uh, buffs without even tryharding it. So honestly, it's a really good leveling up method if you're trying to get legendary perks, trying to get your build going, and it's really effortless, uh, especially if you use this bash minigun build. Uh, something I didn't go over with you guys is um, I'm also using full charge. It's going to be a strength perk. And uh, for like the last 15 levels, I used 5% of my fusion cell energy. Like, come on, that's actually insane. 5% for all those levels? 
So definitely invest in uh, full charge. Uh, another thing is you definitely do want to use this bash minigun in power armor. Uh, just because in power armor your bash damage is basically doubled and it's kind of what makes it as OP as it is. So even if you want to use unyielding armor, it won't be nearly as strong as power armor. Not to mention you get the plus two strength with the motion assist servos for your torso. It, it, it's pretty good. Uh, but as you can see here, we're mostly done just killing the rest of the stragglers. Honestly, I could probably just be reading the B script movie and keeping you guys more entertained. I'm awfully bad at this sort of thing, but hey, a job's a job. Heading down to the elevator, we're just going to make quick work of these. 330 experience per, just hit level 49. We're probably not going to hit level 50 this run, so we're just going to have to do a quick server hop. It's not going to be too big of a deal. I just kill these, and just be careful of the um, nuke ones, because they fix the nuke damage, so if they throw it on the ground, it will most likely one-shot you. But if you just kill them when they're holding it and it explodes, you probably take no damage. So we're just going to hop into a new server and finish our level 50 challenge. And once again, you get about three levels per run, and each run takes about three to five minutes. I've been keeping track with my Barry Mentats for the most part. Yeah, it's honestly really easy. So we're just going to finish clearing these. And in a future video, I'll be showing you guys how to get Cranberry Relish, uh, Bear Mantats, the Brain Bombed, and going more in depth on how to maximize your XP if you guys care about that sort of thing. And I'll try to make it as simple as possible for you guys. It's honestly, uh, being able to get to level 50 in just like a couple hours, that, that's honestly huge. Like, especially new players that are struggling with the game. So I highly recommend you doing this. I just uh, showed you guys what works best for me, uh, what works for best for me might not work for you, so have fun, experiment, you might find a better method, and uh, yeah. And we're just about to hit level 50. Quite poggers. Almost there. Just two more, and then our challenge will be done. And after this, um, I'll be showing you guys exactly how much it cost me to get to level 50 so you guys get a brief idea of what I used. Alright, I will see you guys shortly. Alright, choppers, just gonna briefly go over what I used. Uh, it took about three hours roughly with me goofing around, so it's 12 lunch boxes total. Lunch boxes you can get from the Atomic Shop. Purchase it from Gold Bully and at your local sediment vendor, or get it from your friends, the scoreboard. Anything along those lines, it's really important or really huge because you can get up to double experience. Brain Bombs, the reason we use this is because you get plus 8 intelligence with the uh, herbivore perk. 8 uh, intelligence is 24% extra experience in the long run, so these are pretty important. Each one lasts about 2 hours, so yep, we only use 3. And I only really use 3 is because as I said I was goofing around a lot and I had to refresh it. Uh, Berry Mentats, I used a total of 15. I only had to use like one per run. I, sometimes I missed them, sometimes I double eight. So it's not super accurate right here, but it is there. Uh, Cranberry Relish, we used roughly five. Uh, these also last like an hour and a half. They're, they last a very long time. I just double eight them sometimes just to refresh the buff. And once again, as I said, I was mostly goofing around, you know, scrapping stuff and stuff like that. Uh, for ammo, for the .38s, we used this for the uh, pipe pistol. I believe we used about 400 to uh, get to our 10mm. Uh, then after that, we used about 1,200 of the 10mm. And then we switched to the fixer, and we used about 2,800 rounds. And a total, we used 40 stim packs. Once we hit level 35, we got the bash minigun, so we didn't need any extra ammo, and we barely used any stim packs during the whole thing. The total duration, it took me 2 hours and 34 minutes to complete this challenge. Could have been done faster if I wasn't goofing around, but you know, it's it's a game. You're here to have fun, am I right? Alrighty, so as I said about each run is about 3 level choppers, and each one is about 2-5 to five minutes. It just it depends how fast you want to be. Uh, and I did this entire thing completely solo. Uh, I didn't do any parties. This could have been a done a lot faster with a teammate of a higher level. But I wanted to do this video solo for the new players who don't really have a lot of friends, so you guys can level up. Now just to go over what we used, uh, level 1 pipe pistol. Uh, then when at level 10 slash 15, we used the 10mm pistol. I don't know why I put piston. Uh, then we had the fixer at level 25, or was it level 20? I don't remember. And then we switched to the minigun with the shredder mod at 35 with power armor. And honestly, once you get to this point, leveling up is super simple, guys. It, it's really easy. You don't have to worry about dying. You do good damage. 
So hopefully this video was helpful for you shoppers. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content, consider subscribing. I haven't been posting videos because honestly I thought this was a dead game. Oopsies. Uh, but yeah, if, if you guys show interest, I will continue to post videos. And I will see you guys, hopefully.